Okay, people. This is May 13th, 2017. These are the conditions I have to work under. I'll take you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little boo of my office here. Anyway, this is just a little practice run. Like I said, I bought this projector. Oh, I don't know, maybe four years ago or something, and it's been like sitting off in the corner in Uncle John's room, covered up. I got this same place, Valley Village at the time, and uh, I bought it for a purpose, right? I have to holler so that because the camera is way over there, and I want to make sure that you pick up on this, okay? Because now you know, you know, you know, you know, my YouTube channel is being stopped, right? By you know, several groups of individuals. I'm not going to put it all on the Dunk Clan, but we know the Dunk Clan is in there keeping an eye on things and trying to sabotage everything that I do. So, to be honest with you, this kind of makes me a little nervous because the more I talk about the things that I want to talk about and and build on the things that I want to build on, the, the, the more that I'm going to attract this negative energy that's going to try and shut me down because those people that do that kind of stuff like the status quo. They like poverty. They like dysfunction. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, even if they're poor, they like it. As long as they're in control, like a bulimic or like an anorexic, if they're in control of everybody in the house over the food cycle that goes through the, you know, goes through the daily operations of a household, and they can upset everybody before everybody sits down and eat, so that when they sit down and don't eat, they feel like they're in control with their life and everything around them. Well, it's kind of like that with this situation here, because... First of all, I've been doing this for 17 years, and I never had no problems until Uncle John went missing. So besides that point, I want to pick up the pace here, and I really want to start using the things that I had bought years ago, planning to educate the public, right, you, the viewer, on how the nonprofit is actually supposed to work on a community level, on a state-slash-provincial territory level, and on a federal level and then on a continental level right it kind of goes back to that you know pebble pouch right you get the ripple going you get the current going and then eventually that current goes out and then eventually it has to come back and when you get that going like that that's when you get actual energy and you put in your breakers right so okay um i think i'm going to start a patreon page um as a maj page collection of everything that I do and I'm I, I want to do it for Andre's sake because if anything should manifest from that people Andre is coming first in other words if money comes in through a patron page because of what I'm doing on a YouTube channel and then kind of you know I have these where are they I have my Lucky Charms. You see? A little Lucky Penny on there. Okay. The penny is obsolete, but not in this case. Right? You know, we can give... We can give away a few things. We can give away Andre's Walnut Art. Be what it may. You know, we can give away some Lucky Charms. You know, maybe I'll make a little outfit. Whoops. <laughs> right? And obviously do videos. Um, I'm thinking to do some videos with Andre. Incorporate some puppets. And kind of make like a children's series. So I pulled out a whole bunch of puppets. I just have to make a backdrop because I want to do it outside. Right? So I have, to, I, I have a particular piece of wooden mine that I can just, you know, cut it like this. And then I have kind of like a a little something for Andre to hide, right? And then we're going to try and do little puppet shows. So every now and then, you know, upload one up on a Patreon page, and if somebody wants to become a member to that and support, just support, 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 just just support my effort in terms of, one, obviously talking about the nonprofit all these years, right? Two, you know, the fact that I have a grandson and I am poor and that a lot of my resources, you know, as a grandmother are going in directions like, uh, you know, taking corporations to court 
and spending money on that, right, you know, is, is being taken away from my grandson. So it's not like I can afford to have a trust fund for him. And what little trust fund that I did have for him was wiped out when Uncle John disappeared, plain and simple. And he's got little $80 in some account that's in on lockdown with Uncle John. That the Dunk Clan is just going to hope that I'll just fade away and that account can close and the money can just disappear like Uncle John. So, I'll, regardless. So, I'm going to maybe open up a little Patreon page here. And, you know, if you, I don't know. I, I have to still do some research on how to do it. But if you do one dollar, let's just say you do a dollar, right? You know, maybe maybe ten percent or something, or five percent. I have to do the math. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do out of that dollar, right? Or a five dollar donation. Maybe one dollar will go into Andre's trust fund for his future educational purpose, his needs, right? Doesn't have to go to college. You can go to trade school. You know he. Maybe even start a business with some guidance and, you know, right, everybody's an individual, everybody likes to do their own thing, so, but the fact is that he has a little something, because at the rate that I'm going, he has nothing. He doesn't even qualify for dental care, people. <laughs> right? So before I put money from nowhere into a trust account for him, I'll have to take him to the dentist first. But I'm too busy getting ready for the next batch of ink for court. Whether they throw it out or not. Because if they throw it out, I'll just resubmit it. And I'm not kidding. So besides that point, I still want to talk about the nonprofit, And this is why I'm doing this. Okay? And I think it's time to step up the ante. Right? I think it's time to bring out the projector and... Oh, learn how to use it, first of all. So this is what this is about. And, you see, the thing I like about the projector is you can have these little sheets of paper and you can have a hundred of them and they're easy to store and y you can use them over and over and over again. Plus, you can add on to them as you're using them. So, that's a pretty versatile, this little piece of plastic here is very versatile in terms of how you want to relate information in a setting such as what I'm presenting to you. So, this is just a little trial run. So, Andre, please, I don't want to hear no scratching and sh 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 there that, there's that scratching in the background again. No, Nana's I'm nervous, okay? No, I, 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 I want to use this. I want to make something. Okay, you do that, but you can't make noise right now because you're breaking my concentration and I'm tired. Oh, I need to sizzle. Andre, I'm tired. Your Nana is tired. I went out yesterday to Home Depot and bought a whole bunch of cement and some wood and some plywood to finish up with this stuff in the yard, right? So, you know, anyway. Um, Andre, please, no, go, let me finish, go away, I asked you nicely before I started. So, anyway, when I bought this, I was thinking more, more on a federal level, I wasn't thinking so much on a district level, because I'm in the trenches already, people. I've been out in the trenches out here. I've been with the kids. I've been with the homeless people. I've been, you know, I've faced the cops. I've faced the city. I've faced the MLAs, right? You know, I've faced the public. I've faced Rumorville, right? I've faced it all. But in this situation, I want to talk about the USA. This is kind of why I bought this, because this, this should be able to help me, right, to, to explain how the nonprofit is supposed to work on a much wider level not on that community micro level but on the federal macro level right and why this nonprofit is so important in terms of the economy and what direction the economy is going in and how people are um, treating each other because of that economy that's because that's what it is it's the economy that's driving driving a lot of the um, abuse that goes on in our community. So, here, let's keep this short. I wanted to try this, so hold on. Okay, I did buy, I, I bought some light bulbs here. Oh, this light is so bright. I'm not sure how to use this. Good. So if I'm standing here, we're just imagining, oh, I can't see people. So, okay, so I'm going to pretend I'm not looking at that light. Now, you have to remember that light at this point is um, maybe... Oh, 
I'd say about six feet, six away, six feet away from me. Okay. But if I'm not looking at it and I'm going like this, we're just imaginating. Okay. There you can see it says USA, right? And then I, I didn't really do very much here. I don't know why it looks looks like that. How do you make it a little smaller? Just as you bring this down. Uh, see, this only goes so far. So somebody would have to be kind of like here. Do you see? It says test. Now I want you to pay attention to the colors as I go through this, people, because as I watch articles that like to um, uh, misconstrued information to spread subliminal messaging throughout the general population to foster institutional racism and classism, um, I want to avoid that, right? So colors are going to play an important role as we develop, because this is like developing a program. We're developing a program upon a program. We've got the initial program. Now we're going to start making copies of that program. That's basically what we're going to do here, right? And this is just the initial uh, HTML. You're just, you're just starting to type it out, okay? All right. So we're just checking this out. So it says test. That is red. It's coming out red. Oh, hold on. Okay. That's red on, on the plastic, but it's coming out looking as black. Okay. I can't do it this way. I have to do And then this one's black. Or no, that one's blue. If you can see, it looks kind of blue. Now, my pens are old, so I'll go off and buy some new ones, right? And then some of, this, some of these templates will be done with permanent ink. I still have to learn how to uh, make maps on these uh, blank, transparent pieces of plastic with a permanent pen so that if I want, I can come in with a wipeout pen, da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da, and then I can wipe it off and go on to the next subject, right? Because we're going to break things down into subjects. So for now, this is just a test. So, there we go. Okay, so, hello members and friends. Can you see me? Today is what, May 13, 2016. This is what we're going to talk about today, okay? Here is the USA. If you see, here's the 50 states, all right? It's not as fine lined as we'd like it to be, but eventually we're going to take each state and we're going to bring them into their own little box. Each state has its own um, issues. This is just a, I'm just practicing people, right? Each state has its, well, we can, well, why are you picking on us Americans? You're a Canadian. You need to get your butt across the border and go take care of your own backyard. I like be bitch. I already heard that shit. So, done that, been there. Now I'm moving over there because at the end of the day, this is it, people. I'm trying to tell you something, okay? If you're having hard times, just imagine what your grandchildren are going to be having. Don't think about yourself. Think about where your grandkids are going to be. Think about where your children are going to be after you are gone. That should be your motivating factor to make you get up, Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and think about how you can improve not only the inside of your environment, but the outside of your environment. And then you take it out a little further so that you can bring in that stability so that we can bring in peace into the communities. So, I'm just rambling, people. I'm just practicing, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm just practicing. So let's pick a subject. Uh, can you see my spit? <laughs> uh, what's the subject? We'll end it on this note. We're going to end it on a subject. Music. Here we go. Okay. We're going to talk about a universal mu music program. All right. We've got 50 states, 13 provinces and territories. That's 63 regional territories that we want to bring in to the loop. Okay. Now, there are some dots that are starting to connect, at least in my mind, I don't know about those other people's mind, but I know in my mind, I got a whole lot of dots that are coming together. And I'll, I'll point them out. And you see, this is where this will come in handy. So let's go this way. Now I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to add some dots in, people. And I'm not going to write down the names. I'm just going to rattle off the names. Okay? We got Texas down here, right? T for Texas. We got Governor Rick Perry. 
All right, Governor Rick Perry, he has the information to my nonprofit, Governor Perry. Guess what Governor Perry is doing today? He is the energy manager, energy manager, blah, blah, blah. He is the energy, energy minister of the Fed government. And I'm telling you people, the man runs his own ship. Okay? Then we've got, hmm, down here, Florida. Where is Florida? This is Florida down in here. Okay? We got, what do we got in Florida? We got some horse groups. Some people that look after horses. Right? Nice people. They work hard. And, and a, a, animal activists. So we'll just put horses and activists. Okay? That know about my, my nonprofit. Right? Now you have to remember, people, I'm sitting up way over here. There's my spot. So I'm looking like an idiot three miles away saying, well, we can do something. Do you see how this is working? All right, who else do we got? Up in Louisiana. Here's Louisiana. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's, uh, what is it? Uh, L.A.? No, it's not L.A. Anyway, um, Louisiana. So we've got New Orleans. We've got Mitch Landrew. We've got Billy Nungers. Uh, uh, Billy Nungerson from Plaquemish Parish, who is a lieutenant governor now. Like, these guys move up to the ranks, man. I come in, I say, here's my nonprofit when they're just the little guys, right? And then they all of a sudden they just bloom into these most important people that can really make a difference across their nation when you think about it, because he's a lieutenant governor now for the, all the state of Louisiana, from being a president, um, a parish president, up, up, up to. Uh, um, and you know what? He got a do rag from me, people. Billy Nungeser got a do rag from me. No shit, I'm not lying. And you don't want to know why I sent him a do rag? Because he was out in the bayous when that oil spill from BP came in 2010. And he was in the trenches and he was fighting for the people. And I'm telling you, he inspired me so much, so much. So, yes, he got the information to my nonprofit and he got some tank tops and he got some do rags. And, but, you know, again, and I'm sitting way up over here, and he's like, hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, okay, so we got two politicians for sure that I can think of right now. That's what I can think of, politicians. This is just to practice, people. And then we've got the NAACP, NAACP, and um, I don't know where Jesse Jackson's got sent to. I don't know where Al Sharpton's got sent to. I, in other words, I don't know what states that they're living in at what time because I can't remember right now. But we've got a couple of preachers. So we'll put two preachers, okay? And, and then we got a couple of Islamic. I'll put two Islamic, Islamic organizations out there. Can you see that? Okay. These are the people that have received the information from my nonprofit. So I am connecting the dots for you in black and white through a projector, okay? So that you can see that I have taken what I've been doing all these years very, very seriously. Washington, DSC is up by New York, is it not? See, I'm not familiar with the map. So we'll just put we'll put we'll, we'll put Washington here, right? That's the White House, right? Washington. Okay, we got President Obama has the nonprofit information. He requested it twice. He received it, and then his office asked me to send it out again because they wanted to make sure they got it. So he got it, people. Um, and who else got it? We have a senator, uh, Frederica Wilson. I'm not sure where she's located, so we've got one senator for sure. Uh, hmm, can't remember. It's been so long. Right? Uh, George Clooney. So actors, so we got actors, we got senators, senators, we got senators, uh, who else do we got? Hmm, I'd have to think about it. But you can see the numbers are starting to pile up. So we got some dots over here, we got some dots over there, we got a couple dots there, right? Mr. Perry's moved over there, and then we've got a couple of those, and then we've got a few of those, well, more of those, right? So how many dots do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dots so far. Okay. And then Ohio, I'm not sure exactly where it's located on the map. So we'll just put Ohio over here for now. There's a dot over there. Right? There's going to be a dot move going over to uh, Tacoma here in the next couple of weeks. So we're at 18 dots. 
So let's just do it this way. So 18, 18, 18 connections. We won't call them dots. We'll call them connections. Okay. There. Where is it? Where, is it? Where does it say 18? We want to move this. This is just a practice one. Oh, there it is. Do you see that? Right there. Right? That. Ah, don't interrupt. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm serious. This is this is important because if this wasn't important, I wouldn't do this. Right? I believe in what I do because I know that in order to get any kind of results, we need that micro investment before we can get that macro power. So the only way you're going to get a macro power is if you bring in the whole, right? So that was, I guess, session one. We're going to, in the future, I want to talk about what hinders communities from growing, what political uh, maneuvers is the light people. There you go. I think I need some shades or something. Um, oh, I can't. Andre, please don't distract me. Those don't work. Uh, what, what, you know, I'll, again, I'll do a little, uh, when I, when will I find time to uh, do these sheets? I don't know, people. We may have to just do it this way on the fly because, as you know, I'm quite busy. But, um, you know, what, what political maneuvers are being brought in to Canada and United States to stimulate the economy, for example, the B.C. Liberal government, depending on foreign investment, right, in terms of, you know, building developers and that type of thing, and, you know, uh, corporations buying up old folks' home and turning it into a business versus as a health care system, right? It's, it's an offshoot now, like the uh, privatized... Uh, prison system of the United States of America, putting thousands and thousands of people at risk. And then, you know, so we I'll list these things as what what hinders, what 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 puts the brakes on this kind of stuff to make the Eleanors in the community not want it to see it succeed. Right? Because they're comfortable with the level of econ uh, with the with the level of poverty in the economy, just as long as they're comfortable within their own lives, because they have the financial means to be comfortable, right? And then we're going to talk about what's what's in the work of leg you know in terms of legislation. So like I, I'm I'm coming in to win that uh, Trump, uh, what do you call it? Has brought in some cuts for the housing department on a federal level that's going to put millions of people at risk to losing their subsidies for affordable housing when in fact a lot of this affordable housing is decrepit housing, ghetto housing, um, just if you need new buildings because they're so infested with some bugs like the bed bug going to walls, they breed in, they breed in wood people, you know it's not simply spray the environment, they're in the wood, they're in the buildings, so versus governments, versus communities, versus professional, whatever, people don't want to um, make the investment to help those people locked in those environments to move into a better oh, environment. Oh, get these back. I just need to use them. Better environment where people can live with dignity right? And the nonprofit is supposed to help people live with dignity. It's, 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 it's supposed to help to maintain on, you know, humanity and what makes us have compassion for others, right? That's, that was my upbringing. I don't know where it came from, but it, that's, 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 what, that's what keeps me going. I'm, I'm thinking about my grandson, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, where his future is going to be and not based on on you know how many houses that they own so in back to the housing situation the only reason that BC up here hold on let me give me my X I'm gonna make some hats here people with some X's it's X solution it's X revolution here I'm gonna write that down right now so you remember it X solution okay that's hat number one X revolution that's hat number two. Okay. Oh. Let's see. I, have, I'm, I must be dyslexic or something. 
okay? So I'm sitting up way over here. That's my house, okay? As I work on the nonprofit, thinking about everybody else's house down in here, and including, yes, my own backyard. Like I said, been there, done that, right? <coughs> and the only reason that up here we have a thriving economy with a AAA credit rating and the people in my area are starting to wake up and realize that and put the call out, right, to, to the general public is because of the um, money laundering of money through the overinflation of house sales that in some of those instances are being robbed from the owner via through, right, corrupt corporate structures that have discovered a means to prop up their lack of budgetary, budgetary, budgetary funds. Well, you can challenge me and say that's not true. Uh, you can do a video response. Uh, I have no problem with that. As long as you don't try and attack me personally, right? Oh, you starved Uncle John. You're just a dirty old hag. You're ugly. I'll be like, you know, take your video response and shove it up you know where, right? But if you got something to say to educate me so that I don't give the public misinformation, right, based on my experiences, my family's experiences, the, the, the stories and the experiences that uh, Uncle John educated me on to make me understand, to help me to understand why we have a AAA credit rating today and why so many people are paying the price for that AAA credit rating except for the ones benefiting from that. Well, who has a AAA credit rating out here, people? The housing crisis has been going on for a long, 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 long time. So where this little scheme came in from up here in British Columbia, Canada in the last few years, four or five years or whatever it is, you know, has that, has that been going on down here for a long time? I think so. I think so. I just think, I just don't think anybody ever really stopped to think about it. Never mind try and figure out a solution how to uh, fill in the vacuum. Because what's happening is you're getting this vacuum that's sucking up all these people that are disenfranchised and just don't have the resources, the skills, or the support well, system to survive that um, whirlwind of mayhem that comes in with these AAA credit ratings where only a few of them prosper while the rest of us, who knows? I can get very cynical. For me, it's genocide in Canada. For me. Because I live it. Right? My, I, see my, I see what's happening to my kids' futures in Canada. So it, it becomes a genocide. Anytime you're attacking a race or a body of a group of people that were born in, in, into, into that area, into that family, into that country, and it's being overrun by something that doesn't belong there, right? It becomes genocide. This genocide has been going on in the United States of America. Only people put spin to it for political reasons. Trump is doing cutbacks to HUD because he wants to take $60 billion. I have to close my eyes, people, because of the light. He wants to take $60 billion and um, invest it more into war toys. The, you know, the tanks and the missiles and all this other crap. Right? That's where he wants to take that $60 billion after he takes away from every poor person across the country. So all of a sudden you got this big whoosh, vacuum. Well, this is where the nonprofit comes in. It's supposed to help prevent that vacuum from, from sucking everybody up and just ripping it all apart and just bodies mangled and all this other shit, right? It's supposed to help bring in stability. Now, I don't write on this. I write on that. So let's just end it on this note because this was just a practice anyway. So we're going to pick a, a, a unknown territory. We'll just go right here. I don't know where that is. That's up, I think, by the Michigan area. Okay, you're getting it up in here, right? This is the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are over here. I guess we're going to have to get into a little geography. I bought... When I was at Value Village, oh, you wait till I show you these books, people. They are so, so nice. I don't know where I'm going to put them because I have no room around here. I'm supposed to show you what I got going in my office. But I got these nice big books. Big. 
twice the size as this, and uh, for the for the maps of you know United States, right? So that's the Great Lakes right here, All right? So this is this is this is ground zero. that can bounce, has the freedom to bounce, it doesn't have to stay in one spot, it can bounce around and it can multiply. Okay, this is my job, to help it multiply. Right. What these are are building blocks. These are communities that are building wealth. Now how I'm going to explain that to you, I'm not sure. Because it's hard to explain something and have people see it unless it can happen instantly. In other words, if I say, look, I need a dollar from you so that I can go do something with these raccoons, right, in terms of a prep program, you're going to tell me I ain't going to give you that dollar because there is no program for raccoons, so therefore you don't deserve a chance. <laughs> That's basically what's going to happen. That's what happens. If you are not a well-established organization where you're dealing with billions of dollars or even millions of dollars the, the general public will not really pay attention to you because they can't afford to lose that dollar and they don't trust you because there's so many people out there stealing that dollar go away so but stay right here? just watch the court um. but I have faith right that's why I'm doing this I can only get better at doing what I'm doing. It's just a matter of finding the time and getting some new pens. Yeah. Right. I think this is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with this. And uh, these here are going to be community building blocks that are going to work on housing initiatives, among other things, so that, uh, <laughs> in a nutshell, the genocidal practices of institutional racism, the genocidal practices of uh, political uh, strongholds that just want wealth for themselves as a colluded group of... Oh, I don't want to get cynical, people. It's too easy, you know. When you're kind of like a book writer or a speaker or if you're passionate about something and you've got a you know, pretty strong handle on the English language. You know, it's, it's very easy to get into that loop. And, uh, you know, I used to read a lot of novels when I was young. Like, I'd, 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 read, I'd read, like, a, a novel in one night. Right up until 8 o'clock from 7, like, from 10, 9 o'clock at night or 8 or whatever or whatever or in a day. I'd read a novel in a day just for the, to absorb the, the storyline. Right? And that's where word power increases. Because every now and then, you know, you'd be looking up the word so that you can add on to your word power. So I don't want to end it on a cynical note. I want to end it on a positive note. So we've got 18 connections among various groups of people that are prominent in their communities, right, on many levels of the political system in terms of how we interconnect with each other as human beings in a civil society. And, uh, Can I go over there? so we'll just leave it at that. Hold on a minute. Oh, he had to do it. Did I be quiet? No, not really. You were interrupting me. Well, because because I need scissors to cut the box. Can't have that. I need that. That's all we have. That's a dirty. No, you can't cut that box. That's a pizza box. That's got germs in it. Old meat sauce and stuff. No, put that box by the. No, it's been out for like three days. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. See, I turned off that, and it's still recording. People, hold on. Oh yes, I was going to show you my 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 workspace. Hold on a minute. You can't cut that. I forgot. Do you see? This, do you see how this is? Look at this. <laughs>
Oh, people, 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 people. <laughs> All right, people. May 12, 2017, we pulled out this old projector that I have. There is the screen, and there is the projector. $19.99 at Value Village, 30% off. Okay, let's we'll see this. <laughs> Back in the day. Okay, okay, are you ready, people? Hold on. We're just testing it out. No, I can't see my thing. Yeah, you can. There it is. We're st still trying to figure out how to use this. I don't know. It's not really. Hold on a minute, people. Whoops, sorry. Okay, people. So, the Mars. I think it's March. No. May 12th, 2017. May 12th, 2017. 17. Okay, and what do we got? We have a church. Oh. Right there. And, and, and that's me. Chart. A chart. And. Oh, wait. Did this thing just make a rainbow? Anyway, at the bottom of our screen, it's a little kind of worn out, but that's okay. What I'm finding here, people, is these lenses up in here are very dusty. I don't know how to get in there and dust it. I don't think you can see. Um, I'm getting a, 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 a strong hue on my, on my video camera. I, I noticed this yesterday when I was doing the pond. And uh, so anyway... I can't see how clear it's coming out. Like yesterday, I couldn't see the fish. But after I uploaded the video, it was okay. So in other words, what I'm saying is, looking with just my glasses, I can see the words. But looking through the lens here, well, on the screen of this camera, I don't see anything. So I don't know what it's going to upload like. So we'll see. Hold on. Okay, so I'm opening it up. And I'm cleaning it. We got some dust balls in there. You can see this is pretty dusty. Um, I used to take apart electronics, people, when I did that metal recycling for the nonprofit, right? And just the way this thing is put together reminds me of taking apart a TV, right? Especially the uh, I don't know what I wouldn't say they're not flat screens, but the old the old big ones, right? Anyway, you can see, right? There's pieces here. I managed to this in here. Oh, this screen. <laughs> you can see the lens can move, so I, that's how I got to clean up in there. Now I'm gonna be inside, so I'm gonna get the vacuum, I'm gonna vacuum it out, I'm gonna wipe it all down. And for some reason, maybe it might have a, a burnt out light bulb. So hold on a minute. I'm still hungry. Anyway, you can have more in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I opened it up a bit more. <coughs> right? Cleaning it down, dusting it. Right? How's a white? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're burnt out. I mean, obviously, this thing is ancient from some school. <laughs> from. Back in the day in the 1950s or something, 60s, 70s. <laughs> so I have to see if these both these light bulbs work. Hold on. Okay, so I think we've got one burnt out light bulb. As a matter of fact, we do. So that's probably why it's not reading correctly. And look at how it attracts dust, people. I just dusted it down, just dust everywhere on there. Can you see that? What do I do about this dust? <laughs> anyway, I gotta figure out for a light bulb. Hold on. Okay, people, I, I did make it a little better here, as you can see. It's kind of like taking up the whole screen now, right? Obviously, it's daylight, and there's light in, in the house here, right? So I don't know if the light bulb came back on because I t took it in and out. I don't think so. I think, we, I think we've only got one, one bulb. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to buy them. I'm, yeah, you see, one's, one's broken, right? So I'm going to see if I can order them, but for now, you can see, that's pretty good. So the reason I bought these people was for the nonprofit to bring in the 50 states of the United States of America 
like you know use these little templates these little things for all the little states and then you know I can switch things around you know, obviously I have to make the templates right and then I can you know put dots on things and you know I can put a little list and <laughs> right and obviously for the 13 provinces and territories in Canada and talk about nonprofit uh, do I'm gonna do something here with Andre with school and we'll keep this out for a while Wait. right I don't know about this the screen but it's I don't know if you can see this. There, can you see? I mean, it's blue ink right now. I'll use black ink, and it's still light in the house, right? So, but yeah, not bad for. Wait, people! Look, look what I made. Twelve dollars. You know what whatever I'm it was. People? I tried to dust it out. When it comes time to change that light bulb, if I can find one, I'll. Uh, try and dust it out again you know I tried to dust out in here a little bit I need one of those cans that can blow out air Shh, I don't have that right so and I need to wipe this down I still see dust in there so I just kind of did it fast so I don't know if all that dusting made a difference and then I discovered that this moves right and then of course I discovered there's a light bulb that's missing but for what we need right now this is pretty good if yeah oops sorry <laughs> wandering as you can see Again, my camera screen has got a hinge to it. It's got like a hue to it now. So the way it ups load, it doesn't look like this on the screen. So I don't know how well it's coming out. But yeah, there we go. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Pretty happy.